Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and I am so excited because there's a bunch of new Halloween merchandise. It is only August, but Disney likes to start the spooky season early because they have their Halloween party August 9th and I wanted to come out and show you guys. We're going to go through the world of Disney, check out some of the cool Halloween merchandise. They have a Mickey pumpkin wreath that I want to get and then I'll also try the new cookie of the month and some of the other snacks around the uh, Springs. So we're going to do some shopping, eat some food and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is August 1st and it's actually a really nice day out. The temperature's in the low 90s and they're expecting some rain but that's not till a little bit later on. I don't know, it looks like it's a little stormy over there especially with the fire from uh, Rainforest Cafe. I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos the past couple of days. I was in San Diego for San Diego Comic Con with Roosevelt's, but I wasn't able to make a video because in the same time that I was out there, I was actually moving, and I am moving. So we're going to be looking for some Halloween home decor, and we'll touch base with that a little bit later in the video. And like I said, we got Gideon's, and I want to go to Amaretz. There's a lot of good things to do at Disney Springs, and I love coming every single month and uh, trying to show you guys all of it. Disney went full Halloween spirit already. Look at that. I can see the up lighting. They actually have some decoration and even all the Halloween merchandise. Some Haunted Mansion stuff right here. Oh, look at this one right here. Oh, and they have a fanny pack for it too. For, oh, that's a big fanny. $49.99 for that, but I like this one right here. That's really cool. And then look, it actually goes all the way back. I love it in here. I love the spooky season. And I want to find that Mickey pumpkin wreath. I bet you it's in the back where the big pumpkins are. Oh, here we go. Here's the good stuff. Oh, look at the stitched little uh, candy holder. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'm not even sure how much this is. And I don't know where the lid is, so I don't want to pick it up. Oh, there we go. $49.99 for that. That's not too bad. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got one too. Everyone's got them. Oh, she's got two. Holy moly. No way. The last one. The last one. <laughs> hi, I'm hey. sorry. I have to say hi. Hi, how are you? The Mickey pumpkin wreath. Look at this. This thing is amazing. And I think I got the last one. I was actually walking up and they were like, that's the last one. $74.99. Wow. What a purchase. And I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with it. Yo, whenever there's actually like new merchandise like coming into the world of Disney, it gets crazy in here. It is so busy and people are just grabbing stuff and I can already tell that this uh, Mickey wreath is gonna be very, very popular because when I grabbed it for the first time, I was, I was actually recording when I walked in and someone said, hey, that's the last one. And I was like, holy moly, I got the last Mickey pumpkin wreath? The last one, I'm sure they're gonna restock eventually, but I probably got the last one for today. Seriously, look how cool this is in here. I love the projections that they have. They got them up on the wall there. They got them even on the side of the wall here. And even on the floor right here. It says, Happy Halloween, World of Disney. I could just spend hours in here staring at all of this. Mickey's Pumpkin Patch. And they have so many cool new merchandise. I love this. They're right here, this sweatshirt. I used to always say, like, you know how they have the regular Mickey with the Walt Disney World and it's just a plane? But look at they got something on the back with this one. I think that is so awesome. And it is $59.99. And then the back wall is full of like little tiny uh, Mickey pumpkins. They got a pumpkin pail right here. Happy Halloween. I always like getting a pumpkin pail. $19.99 for this. That'd be good for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. A couple of shirts, pajamas. Oh, look at these ones up here. Oh, this is kind of nice. Happy Halloween. I like this uh, kind of spookiness. I'm starting to realize this might have been a bad idea starting in the world of Disney because now I'm going to buy all this stuff and I have to carry it around with me. And I mean, the Mickey the wreath is not like a small box. It's a very large, bulky thing, but I'm up to the challenge. <laughs> Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, look at this. They have adult Mickey uh, costumes right here that come with Mickey mouse gloves and then Mickey ears and you look like a Mickey skeleton, like a whole adult costume. Wow, I might actually get this. Oh, it's $49.99. Ooh, I'm interested. And then they got some spirit jerseys over here. Some more lounge flies and ears. Honestly, I'm, I'm spending so much money already. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a cool sweatshirt. Wow, look at that. $69.99 for that one. 
I'm definitely getting the Mickey costume because uh, this is like, you know how many times I've been caught at like an event where I needed to dress up for Halloween and I just didn't have a costume? And this is like the perfect easy fix. Put some gloves on, some ears, and bada boom, you're a Mickey skeleton. <laughs> it's starting to rain now and everyone is seeking shelter, but I'm proudly walking through springs with my Mickey pumpkin wreath. It is really starting to rain, but probably gonna have to get in line, get inside somewhere too. I can now say I am an official owner of a proud Mickey pumpkin. Oh my lord, I almost lost it. Did you see that? I got scared. The uh, little ties came undone there. But I'm the official owner of a Mickey pumpkin wreath. And then I also ended up getting uh, the uh, little tiny... Uh... Oh yeah, the costume. Look at it. That is perfect. A good, a good Halloween score. Honestly, if you don't mind getting wet a little bit, this is a great way to explore the springs. You get to look at all the Legos without any crowds of people. The dragon's all by himself here. And you can see by the ground, it's not too wet, just a couple big drops. A couple big drops here and there. Honestly, I kind of enjoy it. Oh, did you hear that thunder? I'm testing the new mic out on the camera. So let me know what you guys think of the audio, especially right now, because it's really windy. Can you hear me with the wind? I'm more concerned with the integrity of this box here because it's starting to collect some water. So I might have to make a pit stop. I'm gonna probably run up and put uh, the Mickey pumpkin reef in the car so the box doesn't get too damaged uh, and then come back down. And also, I think I'm gonna switch off of the mic. Let me know if you guys can tell a difference in the audio. From this point on, uh, everything before that, I was using the little mic. Uh, and if you guys like it, I'll uh, maybe use it more uh, in uh, future videos. There's no need to panic. The Mickey pumpkin reef is uh, safely fastened in the passenger seat. Now we can head back into the springs. I was too concerned to make sure that the Mickey pumpkin reef was safely, you know, nestled into the car. Uh, I forgot to bring an umbrella back out with me. So now we're facing the rain, heading to Gideon's. <laughs> Rainy days like this at Disney Springs, I like to just walk along the sides of the stores to catch uh, to catch like a uh, little coverage, and then I gotta run it. <laughs> I made it over to Gideon's, but I like I said, I don't have an umbrella, and there is a line, so I might just stand in the stand in the rain for a little bit. It only looks like it's about a ten minute rate, like a ten minute wait, so it probably won't be too bad. But I might come out drenched. Well, here it is, the Gideon's Cookie of the Month, a key lime chocolate chip cookie. There's the menu on the front there. You can see August in the back. It's still raining outside, but I found a nice little table with an umbrella, and uh, we'll dive in and give the cookie a little break. I'm excited. I like key lime, and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the chocolate chip stall. Normally, I don't like too much chocolate, and that's a lot of chocolate. That's why my favorite cookies are like the uh, banana one, uh, and uh, oh, I love the Kris Kringle. Uh, so here we go, the key lime cookie. You know what, I'm gonna do a reverse break. Oh, look at that, a reverse break. And you can see the little pie crust there on the side. They had this cookie, I think, last year, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but something's a little different in it. I always, I always can tell they tweak the recipe just a little bit. I honestly, I like it. It's got a very strong lime taste, but the consistency's there. I wouldn't put it on my top five, but it's still worth trying. More or less, less, more, more cookie, less chocolate chips on top there. That's what I want. A little more cookie, a little more key lime. <laughs> enough of the cookie business the rain wasn't going away so i had to stop at uh the raglan road and i got myself a nice little umbrella for 20 bucks look at that it's a raglan road umbrella i like it and uh yeah we're gonna keep walking around hopefully the sun's gonna come out it looks like it wants to wow that's a beautiful shot right there might be a glorious sunset we're in the mood for tonight with those ducks down there too the World of Disney isn't the only store that goes all out for the Halloween season. Disney style down here has got some cool things. Creepiest pumpkin patch. Look at that Stead shirt. And then they usually change the projection to like some spooky effect. I want to show you guys in here. I forgot. I got a big old umbrella. This usually changes as you sit here and stare at it for a little bit. Oh, look. I like how they added this smoke to it. 
like for the train right there, but I don't know uh, how fast the, uh, the picture changes. I'll fast forward in time if I have to. That was pretty quick. Wow, look at that. That's actually really cool. I love that effect. It officially looks like the rain is slowing down a little bit, so I want to head probably more towards the world of Disney. I want to get something to eat, like a sit-down restaurant, but I also want to see if they got any good snacks for the month of August. I was fortunate enough to see Deadpool and Wolverine over at San Diego Comic-Con and it was amazing. I'm a big fan and I like the movie and I'm excited to see the uh, future of the MCU. So let me know in the comments if you guys got a chance to see Deadpool and Wolverine. I always like pointing out the movie as we walk by AMC. Then we're going to make our way through here. Oh, see it's starting to clear out a little bit. starting to get a little nicer in here. I wish I was able to make a video at San Diego Comic-Con. I feel like I let a lot of people down, <laughs> but uh, I apologize and I'll make it up to you guys at uh, D23 Fan Expo, which is next week and I'm gonna be going to it. So I'll be at D23 with Roosevelt and I'll be doing a meet and greet Saturday uh, from two to four, just like I did in San Diego Comic-Con. So if anybody's at uh, D23 this week in California, come by and see me Saturday. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to make Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party opening night. I'm gonna be in California it's literally the same exact day so hopefully Mickey's not so scary Halloween party once I get back but a lot of crazy awesome things and I'm so happy that I get to share all my experiences with you guys just as I put my umbrella away it looks like the rain's starting again here so maybe we should uh, maybe get something to eat Ooh, maybe a uh, little Art Smith's I think I'm gonna make my way over to homecoming and see if they'll take a walk-up reservation. There's this really awesome grilled chicken meal there that I want to show you that comes with some carrots and then also maybe some biscuits. Oh, I love some biscuits. <laughs> we made it over the homecoming Chef Art Smith's restaurant. They're known for their fried chicken, but something that I always think a, a lot of people overlook is their other entree dishes. And they have this one chicken on here that is just so good. I get it almost every time. The char grilled chicken right here. Two grilled chicken breasts served with sliced avocado, roasted potatoes, vegetables, and a couple of broccoli bacon salad for $29. This restaurant's good. Maybe we'll get some hummingbird cake too. Homecoming is one of my favorite restaurants and Chef Art Smith is like a world renowned chef uh, and he's worked for politicians, he's been a private chef for politicians, Oprah, and he has his own restaurant here, Homecoming, and he even did the culinary program here at Walt Disney World, which is kind of cool because it's like kind of seeing a full circle, having your own restaurant at Disney and doing the culinary program when you were younger, uh, but I love the food and I'm glad to share it with you guys and uh, show you my favorite little grilled chicken and like I said, maybe the hummingbird cake. Maybe. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this sitting area is at uh, Art Smith's. You get to hang out at the springs and just watch the sunset. It's starting to become a nice one, just like I said. A glorious sunset. This is the grilled chicken I was talking about. Look at how beautiful this is. I appreciate the diamond pattern there. It's just a well-cooked chicken breast and the carrots here are amazing. Then it comes with a nice little broccoli bacon salad. This is a great meal. And like I know a lot of people like you know come to Chef Art Smith they get that fried chicken, but a little healthier option. I mean, it's still brined in some very, you know, delicious stuff, so it's got a lot of flavor to it. I came to get the grilled chicken because it's a healthier option because I know what I'm getting for dessert. I'm getting that big hummingbird cake. So uh, try to eat a little clean now and then we get cake for dessert. I'm serious. This is literally one of the best meals I've ever had. The chicken is just cooked perfectly. The perfect grilled chicken. If you're a big grilled chicken fan, this is the best one you'll ever find. And like I said, I still can't get over how we're just hanging out here. Nice little beautiful view. And the chicken is huge. So like two chicken breasts will definitely fill you up and give you a lot of protein for the day. Lots of protein. Here it is, the hummingbird cake. And it comes with a little bit of vanilla ice cream. It's melting, but man, this is delicious. This is what I've been looking for. A nice little sweet treat. And I love how it's got the little jam there at the bottom. If I were to rank this like with cakes here in like Walt Disney World, I probably would put this top of the list for me. Top of the list. 
Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna get some of the ice cream, a little bit of the jelly. I just like to call it jelly. I don't know what it is actually. Look at that. A little bit of everything in one bite. Phenomenal, wow. Seriously, this is just such an amazing cake. And the more and more you get to the bottom, the better. I don't wanna lock it over. Whenever you have like a, a, a standing cake like this, I always feel bad knocking it over. So I try to preserve it as long as I can. Oh, look at this beautiful back view we got. Eating some cake here at homecoming look, with the springs right behind us. I'm sitting at homecoming, listening to some good music and I got the ducks coming and eating my food. Trying to eat my food, I don't got nothing yet. Well, the hummingbird cake has my heart and I love it here. Like I said, you can never get a bad meal. One of my favorite restaurants on property, but I wanna keep moving along, make our way down uh, near the House of Blues and uh, City Works and that area there. I don't know if they're gonna have the drone show because of the weather, but uh, we'll see. Look at how beautiful this sunset is right now. Wow, this is where I wanna go. I wanna start making my way down that way near uh, Splitsville maybe. Oh no! The dreams didn't soar today. Honestly, that was kind of cool. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at look at this wildlife. This is a beautiful night at the springs. Sorry, sometimes I just like to leave in little bits of just like. Just like how beautiful it is walking around here. It's just so nice, you know? Dreams that soar has been canceled for the night. But wow, I, I, it's such a sad night for it to be canceled because of how beautiful it is. And uh, the mass exodus is gonna happen. Uh-oh. Uh it looks like there's a concert at the House of Blues tonight. I hear some music. I wonder what concert they got going on there. This looks like, I feel like we're in Times Square, honestly, with all this flashing lights and that sunset, the music, the Titantron. I think that's the name of it. In a shocking change of events, um, I think we're gonna go see Taking Back Sunday at the House of Blues. I was kind of like shocked that they're actually playing here. They're a great band and uh, they canceled the drone show. So I figured might as well go to another show. And uh, I was like, wow, am I really that guy that's about to go to a rock concert by himself at Disney Springs? And I think I am and I'm okay with that. It's Taking Back Sunday. You know, sometimes the best nights end up where you just didn't expect something to go the way it was supposed to go. And look at that. Here I am, just a solo guy going to go see Taking Back Sunday because I saw they were playing and decided to buy a ticket last minute. I kind of like it. Today has been such a crazy day and I can't believe I was able to get the last Mickey pumpkin wreath and now taking back Sunday and then I was thinking I was gonna hang out here by myself like all by myself but then I ran into Dustin DTH is here and he just randomly came so now I'm just hanging out at House of Blues with friends about to see taking back Sunday like this is such a cool thing I love when nights go like this I've been to a couple of concerts here at the House of Blues but getting to see taking back Sunday is so awesome and I'm excited I might have to switch over to the other mic though Honestly, this has become such an adventurous night. I'm so happy I'm sharing all with you guys. I'm just going with the flow and I can't wait. Oh, I think they're gonna keep going.
got my veins all tangled close. Well, that was a great show. I love how things like that just happen. And like I said, even running into friends there and just hanging out, very, very cool. You never know what will happen at Disney Springs. Taking back Sunday. Now I think we're gonna keep moving out and we gotta stop and uh, get Gracie some cupcakes and uh, head home for the night. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if we can get some cupcakes this late at night. I think uh, Sprinkles is closed already. I feel so bad though now. Gracie's gonna be looking. Oh, you want a treat? There she is, the most beautiful dog on earth. I decided to just pick the video up the next day. And since I didn't get Gracie cupcakes, I'm gonna give her a little cookie. Sorry, I'm in the middle of moving, packing, so I got stuff all over the place, but here we go. You ready? Go get it! <laughs> Like I mentioned before, uh, I decided to just bring the video on to the next day because there was some stuff I wanted to talk about, especially with moving and my upcoming plans. And last night we got home around like 1130-ish and I figured, oh, you know what? I'll just do it in the morning. So, good morning! <laughs> Gracie's over there side-eyeing me because I've got the Mickey Reef right here. I wanted to open it up and look at it. Honestly, I don't think it lights up and I'm kind of sad about it. I was looking to see if it did. I mean, it's got a button to do some. Oh no, that's not a button. That's just uh, that's just Mickey's nose. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, it doesn't light up or anything. It's just, it's just a Mickey wreath. I don't mean like it's not, it's just a Mickey wreath. I mean, it's a Mickey wreath. It's a Mickey pumpkin wreath, but I thought it was gonna light up or something, but it's still very cool. This is what it looks like on the backside there. And honestly, I thought that, I thought that this was a nose you press and like maybe it would be like boo to you and you. Oh, I could only, can you imagine? Boo to you and you and you, happy Halloween. That would be amazing and I'm sad. Oh, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to be at the opening night of Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and that's been like a tradition for me for years now so I'm sad that I'm gonna be not seeing some of you guys there uh, but I'm gonna make it to a party soon in August as soon as I get back from D23 and uh, oh, speaking of D23 like I said I'm very excited I'm very pumped for D23 coming up I think it's gonna be awesome uh, I'm excited to uh, share my experiences with you if you guys don't know what D23 is it's basically like San Diego comic-con but for Disney parks I mean for all Disney, but uh, this is where they're going to announce all of the upcoming like park like uh, refurbs and uh, announcements for new attractions and new lands. Hopefully, I was thinking about doing like a speculation or a prediction video uh, for you guys, but there's like so many things like predictions. So many people are saying so many things. I can tell you a couple of things I would love to see uh, in D23. I would love to see a new uh, Disney park. I'd love to see a fifth gate here in Florida. Uh, I know there's been talks of it, especially with Epic Universe opening up, and I've also would love to see. Uh, villains land can you imagine i mean universal the reason disney's feeling a lot of pressure right now is because universal is opening up epic universe which is going to be an epic theme park like it's going to be amazing and it's going to bring in so many crowds and honestly i feel like universal will take the top uh, theme park spot that opening year and Disney is going to have to respond back. I mean, they're going to have a villain's themed land in Epic Universe. They're going to have a uh, like Dracula's castle as like the centerpiece and uh, Disney, I think uh, there's been rumors that they're going to kind of counter that and make a villain's themed land. So that'd be cool. So uh, a new park here at Walt Disney World, a fifth gate as you would call it, uh, probably definitely uh, villain's uh, land. I would like to hear some opening dates. I'd love to hear when Indiana Jones and Animal Kingdom is going to be open. Uh, I would also love to hear some more e-ticket attractions. 
Texans. You know what I mean? We need we need we we need to thin the crowds here in Florida. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like we don't have enough attractions. Where in Disneyland they need more land. <laughs> I would love to hear uh, uh, some expansion news from Disneyland. I don't know. Overall, it's going to be great, and I'm going to be there in the the hall where they make all these announcements, and I'm going to be sharing it with you. And then also that weekend, uh, Roosevelt's is doing a meet and greet. I'm doing I'm doing a meet and greet at the Roosevelt's booth Saturday, so that's August 10th, I think it is, uh, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And that's going to be amazing, and I can't wait to just like see some of you guys. If you're going to D23, it doesn't cost anything. Just come by and say hello. Come by and say hello. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun weekend. But Back to the move. I want to actually go downstairs and I want to put this on the door and see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like. Like I said, I wanted to do something cool to this Mickey pumpkin wreath because I uh, actually own a candy corn from a real Mickey pumpkin wreath uh, that's on Main Street uh, during the Halloween season. So I thought it'd be cool to add it to it and make it kind of, uh, you know, more authentic. And I think I have a little, uh oh, there we go. I think that might hold pretty well. It looks pretty. I mean, I'm only putting this on here for literally a day and then I'm gonna be putting it on a new door and I can't wait to share that with you guys. I, I don't know if this is gonna make it too heavy. There you go. Look at that. That actually looks really nice. I'm not too good at this stuff. Gracie is the happiest dog when it comes to, you want breakfast? 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 You want breakfast? You want breakfast? Here we go. Breakfast. Look at this stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Look at, it has carrots. It's got some kind of protein in there. A lot of good stuff. Fresh pet. I love watching Gracie eat. Does anybody love watching their pets eat and drink? I know I said drinking too before, but just watching them eat makes me happy. And I think with that, we are done here for yesterday. Now it's today, but you know, I wanted to show you uh, the Mickey wreath uh, during the daytime. It looked very pretty. And I hope that candy corn stays there. It's only gonna be for like a day because I'm literally packing up my stuff right now. Like we're in the middle of moving everything from uh, my apartment to my house. And uh, in between that, like I've been traveling to California. It's crazy because I, I, I never thought thought this was ever going to be a scenario for me because first of all I never thought I'd ever buy a house but I literally flew from San Diego to Orlando and then went and closed on my house from California and now I have a week uh, to get everything out of my house in well, out of my apartment into my house and then I'm flying back to California So it's really cool and I want to make a video because I made a video last time Just talking about like living near Disney and the price of rent Which that's the main reason I'm moving right now is because the rent is just so high and I, I just like I said at that point it, I mean if I plan on staying here anymore, you might as well just you know buy a house the the apartment that I'm in now I'm, I'll be looking at at almost three grand a month for this apartment because I have Gracie and it's very close to Disney but I plan on making a video just so I can like you know share my experiences with you and hopefully get it out before we make our way to D23 but if not you know once I get back from D23 and I get all settled in then then we'll make the video but I appreciate you guys just tuning in and hanging out with me and uh yeah it's been a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making it and uh, I can't wait to update you on the big move soon and we'll see you next time. Bye!